Hey guys, Rob from the Off Tiny House, another prepping video for you. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. So, if you guys have been watching my prepping videos, you know way back when um, I made a video where we're in a, uh, I basically said we're in a slow motion controlled collapse in North America. That's the United States and Canada. Um, and so far, I, I'm getting proved right again and again and again. And uh, it's just silly. So we have um, build backwards going on in the US right now. Not build back better, build backwards. Because the people in charge over there are complaining about to the oil prices what happened to the gasoline prices meanwhile the first day in they canceled all your uh, United States production of oil and want all the production coming out from uh, Middle Eastern countries again can you say what's the definition of retarded guys because I think uh, it's in the White House um, now there's a lot going on uh, I also made a recent video, China versus Taiwan. Guess what, guys? It's getting worse. Um, so Russia has come out and said, yeah, China owns Taiwan. So they can do whatever they want. Now, that kind of talk is scary because that means, uh, you know, China and Russia could be bros. And, uh, you know, that would be one hell of a... A nightmare um, but we're basically on the verge of World War three uh, and the reasoning is China um, you know China has been over the years slowly expanding uh, their country by slowly um, taking over and stretching out they want to expand their the size of their country and their areas so they've been you know, pumping sand, making artificial islands, um, all kinds of crazy stuff. Now they're uh, they're poking at India. They've been poking at India for a while. Uh, they have also been poking at Taiwan recent, more recently. But actually, they've been poking at both recently. Uh, but that's not in the mainstream news because, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so basically. Um, it's not looking good, folks. China um, kind of did something messed up where they invested a whole lot of money into these um, apartment complexes. And uh, they kind of did a foresight deal where they said, okay, we're gonna expand and we'll need all these housing projects and stuff. And that went bust, trillions lost. So they ended up demoing these apartment buildings that were built brand new and never used. They were just vacant, empty buildings in this uh, city they kind of built. And pretty crazy. Um, so they're pissed off. They're needing funds. And what better way to do that is to take over Taiwan. Now that's only one part of it. The second part of it is they got their puppet over in the White House, China Joe, and... Uh, this is their time because if it was any other president any other president wouldn't put up with that crap um, if Trump was still in office the country of China may not exist and that would be a good idea um, it'd be a giant crater where we'd uh, dump a lot of our old uh, nuclear weapons that way they we could have uh, you know replenish the uh, map replenish the uh, <laughs> the armory with newer stuff but it should you know it's it may end up doing that but who knows we got China Joe in office um, Russia knows China Joe is in office so this is the time for the two other superpowers to act because they know China Joe ain't gonna do squat He's got old timers. They built a. There's some weird stuff going on over there. Um, 
We got uh, a fake White House set up for filming for old Joe to film in. There's something weird going on there, guys. You can look into that more. Um, Kamala Harris, the borders are doing absolutely nothing. Pour Millions of people pouring in. She's doing nothing. But she is. She's uh, staging um, friendly talks with children. And her popularity is so bad she had to pay acting actors, ch acting children, for some whatever talking about space. We'll talk about piss the money away. Talk about not doing your job. Democrats are absolutely useless garbage. They're cancer. They need to be cut out. And that's it. These people are garbage, dude. The left, the Democrats, trash. Look how good they're running the country into the ground. Because they're not running it up, they're running it down. Build back backwards. That's their motto. So, if World War III kicks off, it's gonna probably go nuclear. It's not gonna be fun, we won't be around. Um, you can have all the potassium iodine in the world but who knows. Um, I'm gonna order a pack on Amazon just in case, but even then, it's only gonna get you so far, guys. Potassium iodine, it's for the thyroid. It fills your thyroid with iodine so the radiation doesn't infect air first and flood your, your lymph nodes and your thyroid with uh, radiation. But what are you gonna do? Can't do much. I don't have a bunker. I don't have the money for a bunker. I'm not a millionaire. Um, if I was a millionaire, I wouldn't be here. I'll tell you that. Um, anyways, it's just crazy out there, guys. Absolutely insanity. Um, and uh, yeah, fun, fun, fun to come. So I hope you guys are prepping up uh, some of you guys may hear this and say, why prep if uh, nuclear war is just around the corner? Good good point, but then again, um, who knows? And the shortages are continuing, and if World War III kicks off, the shortages are going to be extreme. There won't be any freighter ships coming with supplies for, for us on the ports, okay? Totally cut off. That's what happens in war. Supply chain cut off. We're, our supply chain's already being cut off, and we're not even in war yet. But then again, we got Build Back Backwards going on, so maybe we are in a little war going on. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty bad, guys. I've never, this is, I thought Obama was bad. And actually, looking back, when Obama got in and basically 2008 happened, the uh, economy collapsed, that's when I first purchased the tiny house to start this project. Now fast forward to the Bonehead administration. He's doing a worse job than Obama. Holy shit, I couldn't, I can't believe, I've said that, but I couldn't, I can't believe anybody could be worse than Obama, but damn, <laughs> damn. And they stole the election anyway, so it's crazy, even crazier. Um, yeah, it's, it's insanity, guys. I, uh, Hope you guys are doing good. That's all to I can see say. all my live daily content. Become a Patreon member. Click on the link on my YouTube channel at the Awkward Tiny House. Click on support this channel. It'll take you to the Awkward Tiny House page on Patreon. Or you can just Google it. Sign up and join in. Thank you.